Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at the zigzag order program that appeared in ISC Computer Science Sample Paper 2026. According to this question, we have to write a program to declare a single dimensional array of size n and n is an integer greater than 2 and less than 10. We have to allow the user to input positive integers into this array and display an appropriate error message for an invalid input. Then we need to rearrange the array in zigzag order in the form such that the first element is less than or equal to the second element. The second element is greater than or equal to the third element. The third element is again less than or equal to the fourth element. And the fourth element is greater than or equal to the fifth element and so on using in place swaps only. In place means without using a second array. So swapping has to be done in the original array. Here is an example. So we have this array with elements 4, 3, 7, 8, 6, 2, 1. And then if you look at the output, you will see that firstly we have 3, which is less than 7. And then 7 is greater than 4. Again, 4 is less than 8. 8 is greater than 2. Again, 2 is less than 6. And 6 is greater than 1. And this is why this is known as zigzag order. So we need to perform the following tasks on the array. We have to display the original array. We need to transform this array to zigzag order. And then we need to display the transformed array. And here are some more examples. So when n is 5 and these are the elements, so you can see that firstly the original array is displayed and then the zigzag array is also displayed. This is another example. Now in example 3, this is an invalid input because one of the elements is negative. You can see minus 2 is negative there. According to the question, we only need to enter positive integers. And this is the last example where n is 2. And this is also invalid because the minimum size should be 3. So that's the question. Let's now look at the program. So here I have created a class zigzag. And then I have taken the input from the user, the size of the array. And I'm checking whether n is less than 3 or greater than 9. In that case, I'm printing invalid input and I'm exiting from it and terminating the program. Otherwise, I'm creating the array with size n. After creating the array, I start inputting elements into this array. And as I enter elements into this array, I also check whether they are negative or not. In case they are negative, I'm printing invalid input and then again exiting from main and terminating the program. If everything is fine, then we move forward, we proceed further and we print the original array using another loop. And now this is where the zigzag arrangement starts. So we have taken a Boolean variable which is initialized to true. And true means we want to arrange in increasing order right now. If it's false, that means we want to arrange in decreasing order. And the this value should keep switching from true to false and false back to true. So i is equal to 0, i is less than a dot length minus 1. That means our array is going till the second last element. And if status, that means if the value of status is true, we want to arrange in ascending order. So that's why in case the first element is greater than the second element, so they are not in increasing order. So we are calling the swap function, which we have defined at the bottom over here where we are taking the array, taking the ith index, the jth index, and then we are swapping using the temp variable. So whenever we find that the first element is greater than the second element, when the status is true, in that case, we are swapping them and making the first element smaller than the second element. Else means when it's false, then we want to arrange them in decreasing order. 
So in case i is less than ith element is less than i plus 1th element. So once again they are swapped and this is how we arrange the array elements in zigzag order. So after each iteration we change the status. So if it was true last time then currently it will become false. If, if it was false last time then currently it will become true and so on. And then we are displaying the zigzag array also. So it's a very simple program. So that's the program and let's check the output. So it is asking for the elements. So if I enter n as 5, so we have to enter the array elements. So 5, 2, 8, 9, 0. So if these are the elements, then you can see, firstly, 2 is smaller than 8. Then 8 is greater than 5. Again, 5 is smaller than 9. And 9 is greater than 0. Even if you arrange the elements in ascending order, so if I give n as 5 and I write the elements as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So you will see how 1 is smaller than 3, 3 is greater than 2, 2 is smaller than 5 and 5 is greater than 4. So it will, it will always arrange the elements in zigzag order. So that's how we can solve this program. I hope you have understood the logic of this program. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.